Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we are playing some Nami mid versus a Hui. It's gonna be uh, probably more of a farm matchup than anything else. I'll probably be getting harassed a lot. I don't know how easy it's gonna be to harass a Hui. I think that there's some matchups maybe easier than others, but just... He's kind of long range and it's difficult to walk forward versus him, so it's okay to just scale though. We are playing in high elo. Um, this isn't like a PvE game because the Nami changes are live with her W getting a big change that allows her to basically deal a lot of it, a lot of damage and healing on your balances, but only once you get to high AP. So like, it's kind of a mid slash late game build, if anything. Definitely not for early game. And honestly, I should have went airy instead of comment. That was probably a mistake by me, so... But that's okay. It is what it is. I'm gonna miss that minion. Oh my god. And you somehow got a Q on me. Ouch. And my teammate died. No, never mind. That's uh, Shaco started like our golems or something. What happened? Let me uh, ward this, I guess. Something happened topside. We see the Shaco. He has a AD Shaco. I don't like facing AD Shaco. He's kind of spooky. So we'll just harass that guy a little bit with our abilities. Not that bad of a trade. I'm not even level 3 yet, so I'm pretty useless here until I get reach 3. Now that I'm 3, I'll rotate over and help. And you're already dead, though. And there's nothing we can do for him. It sucks for him. Jungle is unfortunately a bit too good of a player, I guess. Got a good bubble on that guy. So that trade honestly didn't go that poorly for us. Managed to sidestep that ability. You can hit me with all that, I don't really mind. Definitely not going to be getting any ganks, because he probably needs to reach level 6 before he can do anything. Good poke, but that's all I can really do. Down 8 CS, because just pushing me under turret is a uh, pretty... Good to just, like, punish me all the time. I'm worried about the Shaco gank. If I got a Shaco ganked, I think I'd die. He is quite spooky. This doesn't seem very good for us. Damn, she has Swifties? My goodness, bro. Please, fight with me! Hello? What is Rengar doing? Man, he's not gonna die, is he? He just sat in the brush the entire time. That's sad. Well, oh well, at least I survived. I got that guy so low too. I was super late with my W, so I tried to bait as much as I could to the point that they like overextended so we could try to do something, but... Unsuccessful play, sadly. Oh well. I'm just happy that we didn't die. For us to reach positive value on our ebb and flow for the bouncing, we just need 100 AP, and then that's at 0%, and every 100 AP will increase it by, like, another 10. So 700 AP would be, like, 70% bonus, I believe. 
which is not that bad. 70% bonus damage. Just farming. This guy has lost chapter. What a buy for him. Just prepping these waves. Warded. They are in fact getting dove. I don't even think I can help out with this though. Boom, dude, I got a double kill from that. Oh my god, I can't believe rotating down worked. Wait, what? What? Why is he just standing there? Was he tilted? Either that was a DC or like he was frustrated that Senna la like lasted a really long time before she died and just didn't care. Like, that was so strange. I feel like it's more of the whole entire, like, how did you guys take that long to kill that guy to the point that Nami was able to rotate and kill us? I feel like that's what happened, more than a DC. Because we are playing in Master Tier. Some of the most fragile egos on the entire server live here, I swear. People will die one time and just be like, yeah, I don't want to play, see you guys later. Just today, I had a Yumi on my team in Champion Select, and our AD carry just picked Nunu without saying a word, and then after locking in Nunu, just said, Oh, yeah, um, Yumi, I'm not playing with you. I'd rather grief. And so, he would rather lock in Nunu without even typing to the Yumi that he doesn't want to play with her. That's how fast they make decisions of just like, nah, we're losing this game. Okay, let's just help the Rengar here. With doing this. Shen also helped bot side with the uh, dive. So he lost so much CS top and now he's super far behind and just died. Like this is such a good position for us. Although it's not a very good position if we want the game to last longer to like really showcase uh, like high AP numbers on Nami though. So I guess there's a downside to my team performing well. I don't one shot the wave. That wasn't that bad though. I got ganked, didn't die, got huge damage on Shaco too. Like that guy's really low now. And this guy's getting crushed by me. I can't kill him though, my W's not up. Yeah, Nami's self peel isn't that bad with ultimate. It's really nice. I don't know why I use my E. E doesn't work on towers, so sadly I just kind of wasted the ability. But uh, what's cool about your E is that it just gives you bonus magic damage and it includes all of your abilities. So when you use your W, if you use your E, you will increase the AP ratio on it. That being said, you can't increase like the percent damage from the bounces, but it's still pretty good. Just throw it on. All of your abilities deal bonus damage and they slow as well. And that slow also scales with movement, or I mean uh, AP, so when we have really high AP numbers, we run really fast because we get bonus movement speed when we use an ability. Like when you get hit by an ability, I guess I should say, not use it. So like when I use my E on myself, I give myself movement speed or my teammates. Why is this guy committing so hard? I want to go by. 
There's no way for you to do this, right? I don't think so. Dude, you are doing that at honestly a terrible timing, bro. Like, this is such a bad timing, man. It always sucks whenever we're doing an objective when, like, we could have just been a little bit more patient for me. Big damage on that guy. That guy just missed everything. So I want to try to balance my abilities on myself before hitting him because now I do get that modifier. So like, if it does bounce on me, it, it deals more damage. I, I'm coming down too, just in case. Maybe I can assist. I don't know if they can run away. I'm gonna be using my abilities on myself to speed myself up. Oh, she died to the wave. <laughs> It's funny seeing people die to that. Surf's up, bro. I didn't even do what I said, by the way. I let it once again. It's so... I'm not used to playing Nami, so I keep on using it on my on them rather than me. So I'm I'm buffing my ability still because it's bouncing off of them and then hitting, hitting me. So I'm buffing the heal, which is not what I want. <laughs> I want to be buffing the damage, not the heal. Right here, I'll hit. Boom. Good trade. Good trade, good trade. He's playing so far back. He's not letting me even get in range to land my W. But I'm pretty happy regardless about uh, how this is going. Shaco's bot side. What I can do here is just press W on my teammate. Dang. I wish I could have pressed W on my teammate. And then it would have bounced to Hui and killed him. Maybe I could have flashed W'd. It would have been funny if it bounced to Hui and then uh, he flashed over and died. Will Shaco try to kill me? No. Never mind, he's just going straight bot. No, they're getting outplayed. I got a thing now. Oh my god, you hit me. I actually died of that too? God dang it, dude. The whole entire game just became shitty suddenly. Oh. I guess it's bot lane losing. Yeah, the Sen is really weak. It's just more of just the Zeri is the problem there, I guess. I wish I had TP to join this fight, dude. Fighting with my teammates is so much better than just fighting on your own because I can just uh, spam W on my teammates that are in the fight and it will bounce to the enemy and deal big damages. Plus, I'm healing my team for a pretty significant amount, so... Guess I'm going bot lane now. God dang, this way is fed now. Why is my character moving backwards? Our wave clear is pretty crappy. Level 2 ultimate deals 400 damage. Not bad, dude. Allies hit by the wave also get double the effect of my ability. That's a lot of movement speed that I give them. That's actually a lot. If Shaco ganks me also, I think I die because I'm using my abilities to clear the wave, so I'm not leaving any defensive options really besides my W, which is pretty worthless to keep myself alive.
I really want to just be grouped permanently at this point onwards. I want to just push out waves, go group. Because that's when I really start uh, performing. My god, dude, you just took so much damage there. I guess it's not AP Shake, Oda said it doesn't matter if they step into that like that. They also have the submarine tactic. They have a Shen plus Shaco stealth. So what they can do is uh, Shaco stealth Sin and just uh, has Shen ultimate going off. So I'm pretty scared about that. There's no melee characters for me to work off of. It's really unfortunate. I guess I'll just go farm bot. I do have TP available, so I can always just run back, I suppose. Oh no, my teammate got caught. I guess I'll TP in, I mean, who knows. Guys? Nobody was able to assist me with that? I live though. I also just bubbled that guy. <laughs> I bounced it off. <laughs> All right, so dang, that was oh. big plays, guys. Massive. Be my catalyst, Jana. Yeah, I landed such an insane bubble ultimate combo, but my W didn't kill Hoi, and I think my W hit Rel. So that's what almost messed up everything. So that was really close to being bad. Although, if I... Man, I have to look at the replay. Your W can bounce again. So what it's, it's supposed to do is that if you hit an enemy, it can only bounce between enemy and allies once each time. So you can't bounce it on the same target either. So I can't go Hui Mi Hui. Doesn't work. But it can go Hui Mi another person. And I feel like that's what happened, right? That's hopefully what happened. So it hit Rel, hits me, and then hits Hui. So maybe I just didn't do enough. I don't know. But it does stack the bounce percent value. I looked inside a practice tool, so... In case you were curious, you do get that percentage multiple times, which is great. So when you get to like 70%, it does a lot. Oh, whole entire team died. Big bounce to him for big damage. Like, honestly, really big damage. I'll just heal my ally. Death cap will be the next purchase because we want to really abuse that percentage value. <clears throat> I really want to fight with this Darius because he's going to be the front line that I just press W on him to bounce it to do, like, the consistent damage. That's un like that's not going to hit two people because unfortunately it's going to hit my ally first so it like bounce between heals. But that's the best way for me to like harass from far away without getting myself killed, right? Cuz there's so many dangers on their team with the uh Shaco and stuff. I don't always want to be stepping up. I'll get myself killed. Do I risk it? Do I risk the game on this purchase? I probably shouldn't. It would, it would really suck that I'm delaying my death cap by a significant margin, and I lose it. That would honestly be kind of just, like, game over, probably. 
Oh my god, dude, they're honestly getting crushed. I'm trying to get there in time so I can assist, but... So he's dead, I got him. I'm not gonna kill him. I already knew I wouldn't. I could have bounced it off of him too. And hit both of them, maybe. But I also stepped into a random Shaco trap. Like, how unlucky was that? God, dude, I can't believe he lived with one HP like that. I also had red buff and it was ticking and it looks like he just barely lived. <sighs> 35% each bounce though. Starting to really get up there. Why Horizon? Really? You don't understand? It's because the bounce is so damn far. Also, I'm getting a... Uh, CDR, right? Damn, that sucks so bad, dude. This damn Shaco is causing us to, like, be so impossible to fight. Our damage is good. We just need to fight somehow. But without me getting caught at the beginning, we just need to be all together. I honestly could probably beat the Shen too. I deal big damage to him. so bad at grouping bro it's so depressing good bounce somebody died speeding you up i guess shako's alive where is he Try to heal myself and just be ready. Hmm. Good secure. I have decap now. This this power spike is gigantic. We're up to the 60% each bounce. <laughs> oh my god. That bounce though. Bouncing it off of Darius into the Shen. I killed that guy. Dude, I heal for so much, brother. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. I just play backline and just chuck stuff at them. Oh, get that guy's thing? I missed my W! I'm sorry, guys. That was a disaster by me. He gets it, though. If only I didn't miss my Q. Oh. 
kind of walked into that. All right, next item probably should be a Crypt Bloom. This is going to make it so we get CDR, but also uh, Pen, because they do have a bit of magic resist now. It's just a really effective item, right? So, 715 AP. I'm so squishy, though. <laughs> I, like, die to a breath. I wonder if I can hit Shaco when he's stealth when I use my W, if that works. Also, Shen still has no MR. Which is amazing. So I deal so much to that guy. I still feel like I could probably match him side lane and win. I'm so spooked about the Shaco, bro. I don't even think that my teammate could save me. I feel like he should be able to one-shot easily. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe I'm overestimating his damage. That didn't bounce! I couldn't even save you, you died so damn fast. I got him? Nice. Just play the kite game, guys. Kite. Who is it? Zeri? Zeri Hoi. My heels are so big. Nice, getting his Banshees is good. Just heal myself instead this time. There was a W that I hit on Shen here, and... I don't think it bounced an enemy. I wish it did, though. I was so prepped to, like, one-shot somebody. It didn't work out for us. Oh my god, another blue buff. Nice. Bounce it off of Janna. 700 damage instantly. Speed up my entire team. Like, look at this moving speed. Heal myself. I don't know if Shaco's gonna look for me. Let's just heal my Janna again, I guess, for the time being. This seems kind of difficult to uh, do, so we should probably leave. I'm gonna heal my Darius. I bet I one-shot Shaco's clone. If he ultis me, and I hit the wrong one, it's gonna bounce off the real Shaco, and then hit the clone and kill it instantly and fear myself. I just thought about that. I'm so sad that I was just barely off of the item that I needed. I couldn't afford it. I did not like that fight. Damn. 
Damn it, Shaco. Please, bro. I feel like I would deal so much. If I could land Q plus W, he probably dies. But landing Q is the hard part. I guess I'll just buy my item. It's probably the best thing I can do at this point. They are going back to Baron immediately. I just wasted that ability. My bad. I got the red buff though, if that matters. <laughs> Yo, that bounce! Whoa! I accidentally bounced it off a of Rengar to Rel. Holy shit. Accident almost kills? Well, not almost. I mean, it did have over half her HP, no? I guess it almost did kill, in a way. I know that will kill the clone, but now the clone being dead is pretty gigantic. They have everything warded. Can we do Baron? Like, I feel like if we just start it, we win, but I don't know. That's my opinion. The, our teammate's kind of not near us, so... Big ult. I'm just going to ulti over here. I hit like two of their carries there. Kill that guy. Bounce it off of Senna to Shen to get another kill. I think the game might be over. Nami damage crazy. Nice. GG's. So yeah, we got to about 68%. Not even full build. We had one more item we could build. But, uh... Not bad, dude. I, I think that if you can get past laning phase, two core is when it actually starts feeling really strong. Just two core. And two core is not too difficult. That's like mid game. The hardest part is like the extreme early game where uh, your wave clear really sucks. So that's when it's really a struggle. Like as you can see, what it was Rengar who got invaded, right? And there's nothing we can even do to help him. So GG's, I'll give it to Janna. She hyped me up all game, right? And stuff like that. So thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Did most damage on my team. Um, got most honors as well thank you very much and i will see all of you guys in the next commentary thanks for watching again